a decisive ruling from the U.S. Supreme Court saying Americans can keep guns at home for self-defense. This is the first time the High Court has offered its interpretation of the Second Amendment, granting the right to keep and bear arms. The 5-4 to four ruling strikes down a ban on handguns in the nation's capital. The District of Columbia has one of the most restrictive gun laws designed to stop violence. The city's mayor is vowing to require that residents register their guns. More handguns in the District of Columbia will only lead to more handgun violence. The decision was hailed by supporters of gun rights. It basically uh, told us what Americans had long suspected. We do have an individual right in this country to, to have guns. The government cannot ban guns and it cannot regulate guns out of existence. A security guard, Dick Heller, brought the suit after the district rejected his application to keep a gun in his home on Capitol Hill, a short distance from the Supreme Court. The ruling will most immediately be felt in Washington, where the stiff handgun ban has been law since 1976. Kenneth Barnes Sr. lost his son to gun violence here. Almost every day we hear about gun violence in Washington, D.C., and yet the Supreme Court says to everybody in the city of Washington all over the world, let's, let's put more guns in the street. Let's have more guns. Now, what kind of message uh, to a civilized community does that send to a civilized world? That is an issue D.C. leaders now have to grapple with in a city that has seen more than 8,400 homicides since the gun ban took effect 32 years ago. Lee Powell, The Associated Press.